What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica, honey, and we are down here to talk about what's going on on the blogs. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about what's going on in the box. So the first thing is first last night, last night, um, there were audios released of Tory Lanes calling Kelsey. It was an audio of Tory call, talking to Kelsey and, a, and the audio of, to, of Kelsey's interview. And I'm just going to read some of the things that I said about it because I was listening to it last night. A couple of content creators were running it live. They posted it to the blogs, of course. But the first thing I heard was the Kelsey and Tori conversation. And he calls her and he's apologizing. I never would have done that if I if I, I just drank too much. And he's, you know, then he ends up asking her, do you have my bodyguard's number? Can you call him and, you know, try to get me bailed out of here or whatever? And then um, he, at some point he asked her, um, where's Meg? And she says she's still in the hospital. He's asking what hospital. And she's like, um, I had, like, she acting like she don't know. She was at Cedar Sinai, but she was acting like she didn't know. And then he asked her again for the hospital she was in. And she was like, I, I just told you, I noticed that, um, Kelsey, she is, I don't know, she was doing it with the people who were interviewing her. It's almost as like, you know, the people, I don't know how to explain what she was doing. It's almost like, um, defensive. It's, it's like a, it's like defensive. It's like when you tell her something, she's going to say, I already know, or I know, I know, like I already told you she was doing that in her interview with those people when they were like, okay, let's get back. She was like, oh, I was about to do that. Like it was, I don't know. It's very like defensive. I got in her voice anyways. So he is explaining to her, you know, y'all heard the tape. He's explaining to her that I wouldn't have done that. And there's literally people in the comments say, well, he didn't actually say he shot her. Girl, he is on in jail on a recorded line. When have you ever heard a motherfucker, honey, they don't even have to be on a recorded line. They're not going to admit they did something. Well, he didn't, he didn't say outright that he shot her. Would he say that while he's in jail on a recorded line? He said enough. He said enough for us to know that you were clearly apologizing for doing something you shouldn't have done. And then in the interview with with Kelsey, Kelsey is describing Tori beating her. And that's what I was saying. Like, no, is every, that's what I said the other day on the video. I said that, did we forget about that testimony that she said that he beat her up and like was pulling her hair out? So he shot one girl and he was beating up the other girl. And like low key, high key, Kelsey is a victim in this too. She just wasn't shot. She was beat up and her hair pulled out. And then for her to sit on the stand and these bloggers and biased content creators, of, like I said, none of these pigs are going to apologize to her. They're not because they were disgusting enough to put out one-sided posts. The posts were not, in, they were not neutral at all, at all. They were giving bits and pieces. The lady that was doing the reporting, Megan Cunniff, I think her name is, she was doing the reporting on Twitter. And she said that Kelsey's team, not Kelsey's team, Tori's team, they kept getting the transcripts, like, you know, requesting the transcripts. Different things are being leaked to the to the Internet, right, to the blogs. But then when it was time to make his closing statements, he didn't use none of it, the stuff that he was asking for. Like, so so you were just asking this so that you could release it to the people so they could make up stories and like give one sided um, opinions or posts or whatever and have these people thinking that this woman is lying when it's clear as day what was happening like this dude. And then somebody played the, the gunshots. Somebody literally said you could t like, somebody says you can tell 
I can't remember what they say. You can tell, oh my God, he's not shooting at someone. You're listening to audio of gunshots and you're saying you could tell he's not shooting at someone. And if a person was shooting a gun to break up a fight, why would you shoot five times? Y'all are not okay. Y'all are not okay. That phone call with Kelsey and Tori was the icing on the motherfucking cake. Y'all played in Megan's face for way too long. It's true. It's true. But she's not going to get an apology. Why would she get an apology from people who are blatantly lying on her and trying to make her seem like she's such a bad friend? To me, I feel like Kelsey is the bad friend because you know what happened. You are actually a victim of this shit too. He beat your ass too. He just didn't shoot you. And then you get on the state, get on the stand and act like you can't remember stuff with your lopsided head. You whack, Kelsey. You are so whack. And yeah, you could be, she said they left her. She said she was left in LA. We all read, we know all the stuff. We we heard all, but we finally are hearing from her. Girl, there are people in the comments talking about, oh, now y'all want to, now y'all want to give us the audio. You're not on the jury. You weren't on the jury. You don't, th this was not yours until the case and the, and it's not even co closed. He hasn't been sentenced yet. He hasn't been sentenced yet. So we're not done. We're not done. He, when does he get sentenced on the, in, in two weeks and something like that? We're going to be there. Mm-hmm. We're going to be there. And that's it. Cause she sat up there and was like, I can't remember Girl, he beat your ass too. She kept saying after the altercation with Tori, after the altercation with Tori, he, she had, I had bruises too. He is a violent person. And y'all so worried about Meg and they're being, oh, they were fighting over him. No, he was fighting her. He was fighting her and low key. Let me shut up. I'm not going to even inject anything because the fact that the people are still like, oh, well, why, why we, ugh. Girl, we over it already. Why are we talking about it now? Because it's, it's, you know, it's, they could use it for information. They could use the court documents, the audio, the um, video from the police cam showing Meg in the ambulance crying, poor baby. And then y'all really like acted like this Drake, 50 cent. I know she's not going to get any apologies from these shit eating pigs. I know she's not. And nobody should expect them because they did that stuff intentionally because they were trying to protect a violent, a violent man. These men will come out and protect violent men and women will come out and protect. But you should see the women in the comments. I keep saying I, every, all the comments I say, I'll be like, let him come stay with you. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe the amount. And even with the audio, they're like, well, he didn't say outright. <laughs> he didn't say outright. Here it goes. Hold on. Let me go down. Um, sorry. An inmate at LAPD jail. This call is subject to. Listen. And he called her bruh and nigga and bruh and nigga and bruh and nigga. Like no respect, none at all. And then at the end of the conversation, he said something because he only called her to get her to do something for him. He wanted her to get in contact with his security guard. He beat her ass, pulled her hair and told me, I wasn't, I wouldn't have done that if I wasn't drunk. And she's sitting on the phone with him. And then at the end of the call, he says something and she was like, what? And he just hangs up the phone because he doesn't care. And then the fact, like, I'm like, what do you have to be wrapped up in to where you would sit on the stage and act like you didn't re on the stand and act like you didn't remember nothing? I can't recall. I can't recall. And look how many times he calls her bruh. You get a chance, bro. Just figure out what you got to do to bail me out this shit. Okay. Figure out what you got to do to... I appreciate it. I'm sorry again, bro. Like, I appreciate it. I think, I think, honestly, 
I think we're going to try to, uh, because obviously, like, the longer you're in there, the more hot it's going to get. Because, you know, it's already on, like, there's no names released yet, but the report is already it's already out, you know? Uh, but, like, so, out is what? What should we out? It's on some app. You know, Megan's, Megan's team is on top of this. So, yeah, but, like, niggas can't do Niggas don't. There's no way that Megan's on, like, the things. No, what do you say? There's no way that Megan's like on the thing You're listening to street TV. No, 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 no. So far, none of that is there. But I mean, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be one of those. If anything, the only nigga that's gonna get this backlash is me. It's not gonna be her. Um. Yeah. But. Yeah. But, yeah but, uh, I'm like, I'm like, like a breath. Um. You get a chance, but just figure out what you gotta do to bail me out this shit. Just, okay. just figure out what you gotta do to bail me out this shit after he done beat your ass. Girl, I wouldn't have called nobody. I wouldn't have called nobody. What kind of shit y'all, what kind of shit are y'all mixed up in to where you literally, this nigga beat you up and you sat on a stand and act like you couldn't remember what the fuck happened? You wopsided head ass. Head looked like an old dumb dumb. I wonder why they didn't do that. Did they play it? Did they play the, did they play the interview? Let me see. Because I feel like I feel like they should have played that at the at the in the trial. Yeah, police interview play. Yeah, so they did play it. So they did play it. Kelsey heard telling cops she saw Tori shoot Meg. I mean, and there's no, okay, forget it. I, 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 there's no, there's no question. I don't even know what, this is where I'm at. Why are we still talking about it in this way? There's no question in who shot her. We're not going to play this fucking game for the rest. It's not going to be hip hop trivia in 10 years. Who shot Megan the stallion? We know who shot her period. And then he also assaulted Kelsey. She should have pressed charges on his ass too. And it's literally people in the comments saying, well, he didn't say outright. It's literally people in the comments. It says, Meg, Meg, I owe Meg an apology. Wow. Now, where the fuck is the street TV during the trial? To all these Tory Lane supporters, how does it feel to be, um, what? Shabba laba ding dong. <laughs> I honestly can't comprehend how y'all could be so loud and wrong. He did it. The one question I have is why was he trolling her on social media? harassing her and doing all of that you did the wrong you did something wrong but you still go out of your way to make fun of that girl making videos and everything cutting up horse feet i hope they give him 25 years okay now that now what y'all gonna say and he made the call from a jail on a recorded line the entire world owes megan a apology Tory fans still want to hear this and still will say he ain't do it. At this point, you either too proud to admit you're wrong or somehow became a diehard Tory Lanez fan or really, really hate Meg or just hate women in general. He deserves every year that he is sentenced to. See, the problem is y'all got to believe black women the first time. I hope all the internet lawyers have a good time trying to prove their point after this. Well, that's that. Sounds like a confession on the damn LAPD tap jail phones that keep repeating this is a recorded phone call. Right. Y'all want DNA from the phone to prove it's him talking or are y'all good? <laughs> right. 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 Do y'all want DNA? That's hilarious. Y'all realize the jury was able to hear every word of this. You know who, who else heard it? The employment lawyer. Everybody keeps posting who was feeding so much misinformation. A lot of y'all should call Rock Nation and ask Meg for, for an apology. Ask for Meg and apologize. Where's Kodak and the rest of y'all, bro? This is why I don't think or think drink or smoke spirits travel through these substances. People hurt RAPE assault people and then say it, they wasn't in control. Right. Please guys find a different way to cope with reality or find natural ways to have fun. So y'all owe Megan an apology. That nigga was never sorry. He apologized and got to the point, do whatever you got to do to get me out of here. That's what it was. And y'all signing petitions and stuff. The world owes Megan an apology. And what type of friend gives a hospital location? Ladies, leave these kind of girls behind. 
What if he had a hit out on her? I need to hear the people who were loud about condemning Megan to have an equally loud apology. When is Kelsey's perjury trial going to start, right? Sounds like he's apologizing for the argument. He didn't mention anything about a shooting. He apologizing for being all up on Kylie, not shoot Meg. So he said, I know she'll probably never speak to me again. Over talking to Kylie? Girl, y'all so stupid. Imagine falling out with your bestie over a dude that calls y'all bro and nigga. That's crazy. You see how many times he called her bro? Nigga, I just, nigga, I just like, who are you talking? They don't see you. They don't see you, sis. That's why it's crazy for a woman to stand up and try to like support or defend him because he don't see you. Nothing about you. He will whoop your ass too. That's what I'm saying. When Monice came out and then he'll beat your ass too. He beat Kelsey and shot Meg. He needs to go to jail forever. Forever. Okay, let's see what else is happening on the blogs. What else did I say? Let me see what I say. About to catch another flight. Hey. Okay. I just came to have a good night. Pele died, y'all. Brazilian soccer legend and arguably the world's greatest player has died at the age of 82. Pele. That's sad. He was old. Lived a long life. He lived a long life. Um... Body cam footage shows Megan crying in the ambulance. Chicago mother, Chicago mother of four die, dies while recovering from plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic. Um, her family is calling on federal agencies to investigate her death. That's really sad. I think she died two days after having surgery, died in the uh, recovery. Like, you know, they, they send them to hotels and in a room where they can recover and stuff. Two days later, she passed at a recovery home. Her grieving daughter recalls a conversation she had with her mother before she passed. I got on the phone with her that night and that night before she passed and just, she sounded like she was in so much pain. She was like, I wouldn't wish this on nobody. It hurts so bad. That's really sad. It's really sad. Y'all have to do, I don't know what else you can do. I mean, how much more research you can do. I feel like you should go off of referrals. I really feel like you should go off of referrals. You go, you see somebody who's got work done. Do not, I mean, like in addition to your research, go first, I would go on referrals. I wouldn't just start seeking. I would go, where'd you get your, where'd you get your work done? Okay. Then do research on that doctor. You do research, look up stuff on the person, look, see if they have any, um, malpractice cases against them, like stuff like that. Like you got to look and do your research because you are literally laying on a table going under for somebody to do something that you're asking them to do to your body and they're not doing it right. And you, so many people are dying from these procedures. And I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say, but do your research and go by referrals only girl. And then that my, my thing is uh, what I hear from the girls, the BBL girls and the girls who get the surgeries and stuff like that is that the girls don't want to, they don't want to share who their doctors are. And I was like, what is that about? That's fucking weird. What do you mean? You don't want to share who you, if the girl can have a safe surgery in a safe setting by someone who is qualified to perform the surgery, why wouldn't you give that to your sister, girl? I don't understand that. Hoarding information like that, when you see that it's actually dangerous and the women are dying, if you live through it, why wouldn't you be like, girl, this is the doctor I went to, this is how they treated me. Give the Yelp reviews. Y'all be acting like you don't wanna tell. I don't like, I don't get that. I just don't understand that. Referrals, and research. That's it. Don't go blind looking for a doctor and go to where other people have gone and those people have had good experiences. That's the only thing you could do is read the Yelp reviews for these doctors that are doing, you're getting elective surgery. It's just really sad. And it's so sad because people want these bodies to feel good about themselves. They want to feel desirable. They want to get this work done. And it's like, it's costing you, your life. Can you imagine had she just not had the surgery and just continued to live and just be like, okay, this little stomach pouch is okay. I'm fine with it or whatever. It's like, 
I don't know. It's like people want to, and then they keep going and going and going. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to get this. I want to get this. I want to get this. And it's just like, it's just the risk you take, I guess. I guess it's just a risk you choose to take. Some people bungee jump, other people get BBLs. So I, it's just a risk. Um, Selena Powell doubles down, claims that Trey Songs locked her in the bathroom for hours and then SA'd her. I never lie about getting our word. Selena, everybody knows who Selena Powell is. She's a round away girl who is, she just screws whoever will, you know, will allow her. She can, cons you know, consenting relationships with these men, um, rappers, celebrities and stuff like that. She's a round the way groupie, you know, girl, right? I don't think she's ashamed about it at all. So um, there's no, no, she do, she's proud of what she does. She does what she does and she does what she does. But she said that Trey Songs locked her in the bathroom, threw her phone away, um, and um, SA'd her. And um, she's like, "Yeah, don't be around, don't be around Trey Songs." There's so many stories. Listen to her. You know, I'm fucking Hold on. Down. You look like any normal man, anyway. Like whatever, I want to go home. He then proceeds to tell me, "I know, like fuck, no, you're not going home. Stop asking, ask again, and watch." And I was like, oh, "Okay." No, hold on. Wait, you look like any normal man anyway like whatever i want to go home he then proceeds to tell me i know like fuck no you're not going home stop asking ask again and watch and i was like oh, okay then we leave and i ask his security one more time like can i have my phones he's like no nah, trey doesn't want you to have his phones he wants you to go in the car with him i go in the car with him then we go to his house again i ask and he was like yo if you ask me one more time i'm gonna throw your phone over the fucking balcony my dumbass ask again and there goes my phone then he proceeds to lock me in a fucking bathroom for hours. My friend comes and opens the door and finds me, and I'm, like, basically crying. I'm like, yo, we gotta fucking go. He then grabs me, throws me in the fucking room. I leave. I call the cops, and, yeah. For the full story, you guys can just Google it, but stay away from Trace Long's. Now, when a woman who is not ashamed about being with different rappers, you know, online talking, busting them out. And when she comes out and says somebody assaulted her, I think it, you should believe her. I think you should believe her because if that didn't happen, she wouldn't say it. You understand what I'm saying? Because she's not a person who is ashamed. Like she's proud of her position, the role that she plays. Like she's a groupie, right? But when they come out and say that they've been assaulted, I think you should believe them. Because if I'm a groupie and I'm willing, I'm willing, right? And then all of a sudden I, I don't give consent and this happens and I'm basically what kidnapped. That's what they would call kid, kidnapping. I think that's kidnapping, putting, throwing her phone, signing NDA, <laughs> And then put her in the bathroom and lock her in the bathroom and then throw out the bathroom, S.A. her. And then she tells the police, but she says, you know, and then he came out. Do y'all remember the tweets? He came out and said something about he called her a bird. And that's the thing. When you are a woman who is, you know, free, liberated, you don't care. I'm screwing these niggas. I'm not you're not going to shame me. This is what I do. It's easy to come out and be like, she's a bird, she's a tramp, she's a whore, she's a slut, don't believe nothing she says. But think about it. If the woman is a person who does and is going around and doing what she does, that's what she does. If she comes out and says, this happened to me and I did not give consent to him doing this to me, you should believe her. And she even says, I know I'm, you know, I know I am who I am. She said it. She said it. And she's like, but this is not something that I would lie about. Watch. 2022 ends. I just want to be petty one last time. See, so I want to be petty. Starting with this piece of shit. Now, read the headline. This is coming from multiple bitches. Like, multiple. And who was the first one? Me. Who didn't believe me? Everybody. Why? Because I was a cloud chaser, which, you know, given, yeah, I lied about getting pregnant, but I've never lied about getting the R word. One night in Miami, me and my friend went out and we we're having a couple. So she goes on to tell a story. You can go to the Jasmine brand and listen to the story. I believe her. I believe her. I believe her. And he came out and tried to call her a bird. Where is it? Um, He said. 
see, and it's always this. He, he tweeted this back in 2020. He says, you will choose to believe what you want. I've been focusing my energy and time on good things. And I know the devil wants my soul more now than ever. I'm going to keep my head high and push forward. If you holding me down in these moments, I appreciate that. But then you just turned yourself in. And let me tell you something. When that story comes out, I'm willing to bet that he propositioned the woman and she denied him because it happened in the bathroom. He was dragging her and beating her up in the bathroom. And then somebody came in the bathroom and he started beating them up. These violent people, y'all, and like, like, I, I just don't get it. And I have a feeling that he asked her for a hug and she said no. And he proceeded to assault her. Trey Songs is one of those dudes. I've been saying it for I don't know how long. He like academics. Can I get a hug? A simp, right? But people don't believe that this pretty boy is this type of nigga because he's pretty. That's the reason why he's been able to get away with this. How is a man who is attractive to uh, to people? I don't find his beady eyes attractive at all. But how is this pe- how is this person attractive? And he's taking see what? How is that possible? Right? So nobody believes him, and that's why the girls he's he's um it's easy to attract a victim. Ted Bundy, a lot of serial killers who are attractive and charismatic, a lot of people, they go unnoticed because they're attractive. When you think about somebody who's doing things violent like this and vile to women, you think of somebody like academic, somebody who's like, who looks like he can't get no pussy, basically. That's what it looks like. But what he's doing is not about sex. It's completely about power and rejection. Trey songs, can I get a hug ass nigga? Now he has money and some access and resources. So now when you deny him, he's like, what the fuck, bitch? Do you know who I fucking am? That's how I feel like Trey song gets. And I feel like he walks like he did that to, um, Rexa. What's her name? BB Rexa. Is that her name? He did that to her, pushed her up against the wall and kissed her and was like, you know, you want this or something like that. And she was like, what? Like, and like, Like, I feel like he thinks now, like, I got money, I'm attractive, no woman should deny me. And the truth is, you're not attractive to every woman. Every woman is not attractive to you, nor does every woman want to kiss you. I have a feeling that whatever happened in that bathroom, he followed the woman in the bathroom, propositioned her, she denied him, and then he proceeded to beat her up. That's what I believe. We'll see what comes out because he did turn himself in. But and this is in 2020. I usually stay quiet on this, but I feel that in many ways, the movement to fight for women who actually have suffered harassment and abuse on various levels has been hijacked by those who find it convenient for themselves to come up as they seek to destroy someone's life. No, you did that shit. I believe Selena Powell, period. That's, That's it, period. Um... Uh, let's see what's on the Jasmine brand. What time is it? Okay. Yeah. Reporter Megan Cunniff easily performs, easily confirms Tory Lanez and Kelsey Nicole's jail audio. Pretty bad evidence for Tory that his lawyer didn't address this much. I get, uh, let's see. And it was, it's really sad because the blogs were like, okay, this black woman was shot by this man. Let's figure out a way to support the man. Let's figure out a way to support the man and discredit her in every single way possible. Let's just figure out how to do that. Let's talk about her sexual history. Let's talk about how she's an aggressive drunk. Let's talk about how, let's just talk about all these things. Let's talk about um, whatever, like, oh, anything. Oh, she's done something. What did, what did Joe button say? She's done some things to people that are close to me. She's done some awful or horrible things to people that are close to me. I want everybody to apologize to her, but I know they're not. I know they're not. I know they're not. I know they're not. Um, Whoopi Goldberg apologizes again for controversial Holocaust was not about race remarks following accusations. She was doubling down on them. Whoopi Goldberg is once again addressing her Holocaust comments, but she is not doubling down on them. The Sister Act star found herself in the center of a controversy and a two-week suspension from The View when she said um, earlier this year that the Holocaust was not about race. Since then, Whoopi Goldberg took part in an interview with the Sunday Times of London to promote Till, a film which she plays um, Amy, oh, Alma Garthan, the mother of civil rights pioneer Mammy Till Mobley, 
whose 14 year old son Emmett Till was tortured and killed in 1955. While on the topic about race, um, Whoopi Goldberg seemed to reiterate her past controversial remarks. She is now apologizing after sparking controversy again in a statement released via her rep. Whoopi Goldberg said, recently while doing a press in London, I was asked about my comments from earlier this year. I tried to convey to the reporter what I said and why and attempted to recount um, that time. It was never my intention to appear as if I was doubling down on hurtful comments, especially after talking with and hearing people like rabbis and old and new friends weighing in. She added, I'm still learning a lot and believe me, I heard everything everyone said to me. I believe that the Holocaust was about race and I'm still as sorry now as I was then that I was uh, that I upset, hurt and angered people. My sincere apologies again, especially to everyone who thought this was a fresh rehash of a subject. I promise it was not. In this time uh, of rising anti-Semitism, I want to be clear when I say I always stood with Jewish people and I always will. My support for them has not wavered and never will. Um, and that was it. I think I do think it's crazy that um, because... Hitler got the blueprint for what he did from America. And what better way than say, oh, you're a different race of people. So I don't like you anymore. Oh, oh, we could say they're a different race of people and do what we did. And justify it because you're different. You're a different race. I can just make that shit up. Like all of that shit is made up. All of it is made up. All of it is made up. And it sucks because it was accepted. You've now accepted from this these people that did these things to you that you are this race now. So it can it allows what they've done, even though they're not actively doing it, to continue to vibrate. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you still are operating from the space of these people telling you you're a race. And we're doing this to you because you're a different race than us. When the truth is there is no race. And that's the wild, that's the crazy part of all of this, of all of it. It's like people are being treated a certain way just based on where they're from and their skin color. And it's not real. It's like, what are you, you're making up stuff to harm people. And then you have the people who are being harmed accepting that they are that. It's really sad. Whoopi said, don't try to come for me again. I was just talking about it, honey. Somebody asked me about it and I was just talking about it. Don't, don't come for me again. I don't have no problems with any of y'all. Okay, y'all, I got to go. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments, peace.